Well, to all my parishioners at St. Patrick's and over at St. Malachy's, I would like to welcome you to this first um, parish podcast. I think that's what we're going to call it. Um, For those of you who are maybe a little bit tech savvy and would be able to download something like a podcast or just simply find it on our website. If you haven't got the time to read the website or you've mislaid your newsletter or you haven't picked up a newsletter at the back of church or perhaps you are a parishioner from either St. Malachy's or St. Patrick's who perhaps go somewhere else, we don't mind that, Um, although it would be lovely to see you back at home. If you are maybe someone trying to find out details about something that's happening in the week, then maybe this podcast is for you. This podcast will only be between five and ten minutes um, every week, maybe, or every fortnight. I haven't decided how often I am going to do them. But just a quick run through, maybe, of what was going on this week. Today is Friday, and I have just come back from a five-day Christmas break. Um, It is, of course, the 19th of January. Priests tend to go away after Christmas. We can never, obviously, have Christmas off itself. And what a wonderful time Christmas was. It was my first uh, Christmas and New Year with you here at St. Patrick's and St. Malachy's. And I must admit, everything went really smoothly, really well. Um, The Christmas carol service just before Christmas Mass was beautifully done. Uh, We did it by candlelight, and if you want to put that in your diary for next year, you'd be most welcome. So, because I have been away, there have been no masses during the week, except today, which was Friday the 19th. Um, Just as I was getting home, there was a funeral just finishing at church. Uh, Now then, that funeral was obviously booked by... Michael Kennedy while I was away. Michael is very good. If I'm not here, he's able to find another priest. And between um, between that priest and the sisters over at the convent, uh, things can still go on if and when needed. We have had quite a number um, of masses that have come in this week. If you want to see them, please do look at the uh, the newsletter or the website. The website is stpatrickslivesystreet.com. Uh, dead easy to find. It's very easy if you want to put that on your phone or your tablet or your desktop PC. Please do and pop in regularly. The thing about um, the website and something like this particular uh, podcast is that I'm able to tell you stuff very, very, either very early or really late. Stuff that's come in too late for the newsletter because the newsletter is always produced at about midday one o'clock on a friday and sometimes things do pop onto my desk or come to my notice either um saturday morning or even friday afternoon and at that point it's too late to get them onto the newsletter but i can always add it to the website or if i'm doing one of these radio broadcasts i can put it on the podcast as well So what else has been happening? Um, We're in the second Sunday of Ordinary Time. Can't believe how fast things are going. So tomorrow, uh, Saturday evening, we are on the third Sunday of Ordinary Time. Um, Just for anyone out there who is looking maybe for a new job, I got a, um, a bit of a notification from the diocese that there is a new post being created down at the diocese itself. That's at the offices at the cathedral. And this is for a health and safety coordinator. Now, there are restrictions. You obviously have to be, uh, you have to have the right kind of background and uh, the right qualifications for this job. But I think it's something between 38,000 and 43,000 pounds per annum depending on those qualifications. So if you do want to have a look at that, 
there is more information on the notice board at the back of church or you can go onto the Salford Diocese website. If you just put in Salford Diocese into Google, you will find it there. Oh, what else has been? Oh, yes. Um, we had a retiring collection last weekend for Spook. That is the Society for the Protection of Unborn Children. I have not yet seen the uh, the amount that was made at that retiring collection. It will go out on this week's newsletter, but I do thank anyone and everyone who gave towards that collection. We do have a number of collections coming up in the next few weeks. One uh, coming up in about two weeks' time is for our own diocesan, major diocesan charity, which of course is Caritas Diocese of Salford, and the 21 different charities that are under underneath that umbrella. It's a very important thing, and we will be pushing that quite shortly. What else? Oh, yes, there was also a thing came from the bishop, which was an invitation from Bishop John for anyone who is getting married in this coming year, uh, 2018, you are all invited to a celebration on Saturday the 10th of February at 3pm in the cathedral. Uh, oh, I've just been talking about Caritas Sunday. That is the 28th of January. I've just spotted the date and there will be a retiring collection that day for their work. Also, there seems to be quite a few people come uh, talking about Sister Philomena's up and coming 90th birthday so she doesn't want a huge party so what we're going to do is there will be a small celebration after the 9 30 a.m mass on sunday the 28th of january it will be just like the normal after mass coffee except we're going to go upstairs and we'll have a big cake and we'll probably sing a happy birthday um, so if you are able to come to that, you would be most welcome. Also on last week's newsletter, I had a communique from Father Chris Luff. He is the man who took over from me over at St. Anne's in Higher Openshaw. And Chris Luff does quite a lot of work um, for the diocese in all sorts of area of communications. And he is putting on an introduction to the Gospel of St. Mark. It's the shortest of all the Gospels, and he will outline some of the main themes and the ideas to look at over the coming weeks and months, obviously because we are using Mark now in the liturgy. There will also be an opportunity at those meetings, and Chris has a great way with him. It'll be very relaxed, um, and he'll explain some of the stories that Mark sets before us. And all of this will begin on Monday, 22nd of January, of January up at St Anne's Parish Hall, that's uh, 1537 Ashton Old Road in Higher Openshaw, and it is from 7.30 in the evening to about 9 o'clock. Refreshments will be available from 7 o'clock. There's no charge for the evening, and there's loads of parking. If you can't go, or the excuse is that you can't get there, that is really good uh, bus routes, the 219 and I think the 217 uh, stop almost outside the front door of the church. So you are very welcome to go to that. Now then, something else that is coming up on this week's newsletter, there is a poster at the back of the church already, and that is the diocesan, the 86th Diocesan Lewis Pilgrimage to Lourdes. Now then, St. Patrick's has, for a very long time, taken a kind of, not a, not a separate group as such, but it's an independent group to the diocese. And that's because we run from here a deanery group. Now then, uh, I'll come back to that in a little minute, but just to give you the details, um, it's we will depart on the 27th of July, 2018, and we will come back on the 2nd of August. The price is £700 per person if you are sharing a room. There is £150 extra if you are uh, want a single room supplement. Those costs all include 
return flights to Manchester to Toulouse, airport duty and passenger taxes, one suitcase per person in the aircraft hold, and your restriction on that is 20 kilograms, return coach transfer to Manchester airport, six nights full board in the four-star Hotel Modern in Lourdes, which is very, very close to the domain, less than a 100 yards walk, and it also includes a half-day excursion to Bartrez. A deposit is needed of £100, and that must be paid by the end of January, so January 31st. The balance payment will then be due on the 9th of June, 2018. You are all welcome on this year's pilgrimage. If you'd like to go, would you please get in touch with Cecilia Fitzpatrick? Her number is 0161 653 eight three four two yes so i'm going to go back now to the deanery why do we run a dean why why is this from saint patrick's a deanery effort well if you would like to go to lourdes but feel feel a little maybe overwhelmed by the size of the diocese uh if you have no one to travel with or you just would like to dip your toe in then you would be most welcome with us. Usually here, there's anything between 30 and 35 people that go, something like that. So we're a fairly small group. We are affiliated to the diocese. So everything the diocese does, we will tag along with them. And usually it's quite um, quite a splendid event. I went last year with the diocese, but as I was just about, or had just to taken over here at St. Patrick's, Father Jed continued to lead that, which he'd booked the year before, and I just kind of tagged along. So this year, so this year I will be the chaplain, which I am very much looking forward to. So this is the end of this particular podcast. If you have any news that you would like to go out on the podcast, or on the website, or indeed on the newsletter, Please, would you get in touch with me? Now, there has been some confusion uh, over the last six months, really, regarding my telephone number. The old 1020 number for St. Patrick's no longer exists. So please don't try and ring me on that number. My telephone number is 0161 832 7467. Okay, now then, if I'm not in, the answer machine is always on. Leave an answer and I'll get back to you. You can also email me. My email is rev, that's R-E-V, rev Jim Clark, and that's Clark with an E on the end. So rev Jim Clark at yahoo.co.uk. So I hope you have enjoyed this venture into kind of a new media, a new way of putting news out and about about the parish if you would like to spread the news please do and i am going to try and put this on to facebook or at least a link to it i think i'm tech savvy enough to do that but who knows so until next time take care and god bless you all <laughs>